Are you looking for a Linux gaming operating system? Today we are going to do a head-to-head -head comparison with Catchy OS. We're also going to put them next to Nobara. We want to know exactly what it is that they are offering and how they can benefit you. Okay, so let's jump straight into some of the features of Catchy OS. So specifically for Linux gaming, it's built on Arc Linux with an unwavering focus on gaming performance and a system responsiveness. It features a specially tuned kernel engineered for ultra low latency and lightning fast system responses. It also um, has some gaming tools included, so ships with Steam, uh, Proton and Lytris, which is pre-configured. It's eliminating the setup hassles and getting you gaming literally instantly. Some of their benefits include maximum performance. So it has minimal system overheads, which ensure that your hardware delivers peak frame rates and buttery smooth gameplay without any unnecessary background processes consuming resources unnecessarily. Then it's always current. So it has a rolling release model, which guarantees your gaming software drivers and system components stay cutting edge with the latest performance improvements. The last thing over here is their advantages. So the Arc Linux Foundation provides unparalleled customization capabilities, allowing advanced users to fine tune every aspect of their gaming environment to perfection. They have a vibrant community that's specially dedicated to gaming enhancements, troubleshooting and sharing optimization tips for maximum performance. It has expertly optimized, it is expertly optimized for both AMD as well as Intel hardware with bleeding edge drivers and performance patches that are applied automatically. Nobara now is a Fedora based gaming powerhouse. So let's look at it a little bit deeper. So merging Fedora's renowned stability with gaming specific optimizations, Nobara represents the perfect balance of enterprise grade reliability and cutting edge gaming performance for discerning enthusiasts. Some of their features, their benefits and their advantages include the fact that it's built on a stable Fedora with specialized gaming tweaks and proprietary drivers, which are included for optimal out of the box performance. You can also see it has exceptional support for AMD, Intel, Nvidia GPUs with automatic driver optimization and hardware specific performance tuning. They have pre-installed Wine, Proton and OBS Studio, which is combined with Fedora security to create the ultimate streaming and gaming platform altogether. And they are community focused. They are community focused with their development. And this ensures continuous improvement, frequent security updates and features that are specifically tailored for the modern gaming needs. The last thing over here you can see is their advanced performance tweaks, as well as their kernel optimizations. So Nobara integrates a custom tuned kernel designed to reduce latency and maximize throughput for gaming workloads, ensuring that your system prioritizes game performance. Some of their key file system optimizations are uh, the F-Sync and E-Sync and an intelligently configured CPU scheduler, which is pre-applied, providing smooth gameplay and faster load times without any manual intervention. The last thing over here is that unlike standard Fedora, Nobara includes proprietary drivers for graphics cards and other hardware out of the box. So this can save you from complex setup processes and it can also ensure that you get peak hardware utilization. Ladies and gentlemen, what a head to head comparison. The real takeaway here is to go and deep dive on your own, try the software and see what actually works for you because we are all individuals. If this guidance video was helpful, drop us a like to show your support. We'll see you next time.